beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. And also, of course, welcome back if you're a regular viewer. I am so happy you're here, and I'm really happy to be here channeling for you today. My name is Christine, Twin Flame, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome to a midweek. I want to say a midweek, tw well, twin, your Twin Flame reading. <laughs> Another Twin Flame reading here at the Tarot Closet. Twin Flame Tarot reading. Uh, twin Flame Love Tarot reading, Twin Flame Love reading. And as is pretty much always the case for you, your Twin Flame Love Messages reading, channeled messages from your person, messages from your Twin Flame, from their higher self. And what I wanted to say is I'm doing a little bit of a energy check-in for you, midweek energy check-in, which I know I don't often do, but I'm feeling called to channel for you today. So I hope there's a message here for you that you are really needing to hear. This is a timeless reading when you've arrived. You could be here in real time, of course, but you could be here, yeah, well past when the, the reading has actually been released. And that's because you're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. So welcome again. All the decks that are coming in today are linked below in the description. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, your readings, Twin Flames, Twin Flame readings for your Twin Flame journey. There are a lot down there. So if you're feeling called to a reading, there are also non, non Twin Flame specific readings. Those are all signs, tarot readings, love readings for the collective. But your energy is pretty much always coming through, so I'm sure there are messages there for you. Pretty much, actually, there always is. There are also all the zodiac sign readings down below and a lot more, so feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates, let the rest go. If it doesn't feel like you're reading at all, then it's not your reading at all. There's something else there for you. And if you ever feel that things are vice versa, if, if energy is coming through that I'm feeling is yours or your person's and you think, no, actually, that's mine, then it's yours. It really is what resonates for you, including things that are popping up that I might not even know are messages for you. So keeping your heart your mind, your spirit, your body, everything open to receiving them. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for our twin flames today. Aho. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. Wow. So that's not surprising for this to be in reverse in your energy today because, well, yeah, things are... They're kind of, they're, they're out of your control. It feels really stuck. And I want to tell you, this is, of course, around divine timing. And that's really the bigger message here for you. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energies are coming through. And yeah, there's a cycle that's not complete yet. Somebody, I want to say kind of everybody, well, it, they're still obstacles in the way. And that is because some cycles are not complete, some karmic Lessons that still need to be learned. And the Wheel of Fortune, that Jupiter energy here, the planet of expansion, the planet of prosperity, wisdom and growth, optimism, hope. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. So you might be feeling, I feel like everybody's kind of feeling a little bit hopeless right now, not so optimistic. Things aren't moving, wondering where the future is going. I do feel a very strong Three of Swords energy your twin flame feeling quite heartbroken, the both of you. And sending each other some strong messages, telepathic messages, messages through music and numbers, dreams, really incredibly strong, a way to connect. Somebody recently, I had accidentally opened up the comments, by the way, on your last twin flame reading which I might consider keeping, we'll see, and had mentioned, uh, what, not this lifetime? I can't give you a timeline. I can't tell you about union. So just to make that clear, if it's ever coming through that, it's coming through in a reading and it's union, I'll bring it through. It might not be for everybody, but I will always bring it through. So this is clearly not that. In the partnership placement is the moon energy, Pisces energy, also Cancer and Gemini energy. And I want to tell you, the 
the, the clarity that you're looking for, the truth is being sent to you constantly. So you might be receiving messages both from your guides, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors via music, via your dreams, really in particular, but also from your twin flame. So as stuck as things feel and as the lack of clarity that you feel of what's happening, where is this going, what's also going on with my twin flame I'm hearing, pay attention to those messages in particular in the 4 and 5D in regard to your twin flame because you are always connected. You're always sending each other messages. Telepathy is real. Little triggers that I'm not even going to know that are coming through for you or seeing repeating numbers. A lot of times people have their own connections to these numbers that you might continue seeing. So that's really incredibly strong right now. Let's continue on. It's the devil in reverse and it's the emperor. Wow. Divine masculine energy. And here with the devil in reverse. So... This is where your twin flames energy is the strongest. They're, of course, everywhere here today, but it's the strongest here. And they are sending you some messages here. So you might have already been, you might already be receiving them. And I'm talking the connections to music, the connections to your dreams, the synchronicities, the things that are going on. There is um, not only an apologetic, apologetic energy that's coming through here, but this is a recovering energy. It's a healing energy. So they are sending some healing energy your way. And I really, really like this, the devil in reverse. This is also what's coming through really strong for me, for you, is it's kind of like a, it's a message that things are lightening up a little bit for you. There are some attachments in your life. And I also feel in your twin flames life that are, the, the hold on them, the, the, the strong attachments there in this devil energy in reverse are releasing somewhat. So there's some respite from some of the stuff that maybe you have been struggling with. For some of you, this might even be in connection to a partnership in particular. I feel a karmic connection that you might be in that you are pulling away from or needing to pull away from. So this is, yeah, there's a message here that you're on the right track, that things are going to get a little bit easier despite this feeling of stuck energy. The Emperor Divine Masculine Energy, Aries and Mars Energy. And, you know, a lot of what your Twin Flame has been doing has been holding back some feelings for you. They're sending them through today. It's really quite strong, a very healing energy. So this is also... Here's the thing, because I'm really feeling this connection to a karmic situation, and I'm feeling this in alignment for a lot of you. So there is, it's, maybe it's the time of year here, and it's not going to be for everyone that that's real time, but just in general here in your reading today, there's kind of like a break, and there's a respite. So whatever you've been struggling with and that's going on, there's some breathing room coming through. And that's also the case for your twin flame. They have been holding back a lot of feelings for you here. A lot of that has been coming through quite strong that they're dealing with a karmic situation that is quite intense at home. And so there is there is a feeling here too around your twin flame. I'm hearing that they are kind of checking out in some ways in their, look at that. Okay, so this is yours, but I would be remiss, I have to tell you. No, these are yours, okay. Three is usually the most I take, but I'm hearing that these are yours. What I wanted to say is they're kind of checked out a little bit from what's going on in the 3D. Look here, this is really strong. So this is really for both of you. The Three of Swords is connected to your Twin Flame journey right now, which feels really stuck. It's in the hands of the Divine quite literally divine timing and coming down as the three of swords as you can see saturn and libra energy so that saturn energy that we have been talking about that is playing a strong part in this connection saturn and libra energy of course that energy saturn you know structure tradition slowing things down rules karma obstacles a lot a lot is going on i feel like in everybody's life but this is just a really strong validation for me that this is, you're really missing each other right now and trying to connect on another level, not here, I want to say in the 3D, but through 
Well, your, your souls, of course, your soul is one, you're connected. So these messages that are coming through for you on a daily basis and seeing your twin flame and other people, synchronicities, just people and, and situations, music popping up and just sending that message, numbers, know that that's a validation for you, that that is in fact what's going on. So the Four of Wands, the Tower in Reverse, yeah, this is too many guys, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. This is too many for me. I have to put them back. Apologies. I want to actually do a little bit of a, another shuffle because that was just too many. But I want to show you the Nine of Wands is showing up again here with the Hierophant energy. So this is not surprising. Well, Divine Masculine Energy, of course. A card of commitments, partnerships, can even be marriages. You know, long-term contracts, connections is here. And I do feel that everybody, in particular, as I send this message to you, that your twin flame is in a karmic situation, is in a long-term, a really long-term contract. It can be a lot more than just a romantic connection, you know, because that's, I feel there's, it's involving a lot of other people. Work, money, for some of you, really strong long-distance energy. There is something also going on, I feel like, for both of you, but really strong energy from your person with that Three of Swords too, in the relation to this karmic connection. And of course, that can be involving, you know, legal legal separations, that sort of thing. It's not going to be for everybody here, but it is here. And that Nine of Wands is coming through again, you know, holding up holding up some pretty strong boundaries. Look, this bear is being is surrounding themselves with this protective energy in these wands today. I mean, a bear is pretty instinctive and strong, you know, and the bear is sitting here holding on to that Ninth Wand just kind of this is the feeling, too, that I have of taking a break, like they're checking out from their 3D life. My gosh. And connecting here with this divine masculine energy in the Hierophant, Taurus energy, because this is connected to also, yeah, expectations, conformity, traditions. It's connected to the situation that they're in, I want to say, in their their real life, in their 3D life, okay? So again, whether it's romantic family of origin, other people. I feel like there's a lot of other people involved, perhaps. Uh, distance for a lot of you, that feels actually really strong. Money situations going on. The hangman is in reverse. The high priestess. We just saw the hierophant, the ace of wands. Look at that. Holding on to this wand, which almost looks... Well, yeah, I was going to say a slingshot, but that's not what, <laughs> what they're sending through here. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. It's a very, it's getting this urge here, and it's with the devil in reverse. So they're, they're, they are wanting to say a lot to you, Twin Flame. I feel like that's going to come through today throughout your reading, also through channeled love messages, through messages from their higher self, but it is coming here today too. Uh, look at the strong connection here to the High Priestess and the Emperor. Of course, the opposites here, but Divine Feminine Energy, Cancer and Energy. A very strong reveal coming through here. So this is really strong messages for me, for, for you from your Twin Flame that they're sending through. They are sorry, and it, it can be that there, there has been some contact or there might be in the 3D. For me, this is really all about what's coming through for you in the 4 and the 5D. But we did just see the Hierophant, which is interesting because... Of course, the, the Empress, excuse me, the High Priestess, <laughs> the Empress making her way in, is the counterpart for the Hierophant. And yeah, there's a spiritual marriage here. I mean, there's just not even a question. Also, what everybody's wanting in the 3Ds, I feel, is also coming through. But your soul connection, of course, is undeniable on your Twin Flame journey. The Five of Cups in reverse, connecting with this Ace of Wands. This is Mars and Scorpio energy, and this is exactly the energy. It's a healing energy coming through, and they're asking you for forgiveness. So they are sending a message through. Why are they apologizing? Well, they haven't been sharing how they feel. This emperor has been hiding it, and I feel like it's long before now. It was kind of when you were still in, well, a partic that particular phase on the twin flame journey when everything's feeling really magical and then they just started to pull away. So they are apologizing for that. They 
are clear how they feel and the truth of that is being revealed to you constantly is what I'm hearing also from them. It may not be in a 3D message. They're clear. The truth is coming to you. It's also connecting here with the hangman in reverse, the moon in reverse. I mean, look at this. Of course, this is around divine timing. That is a 12. It is coming to a 13. They have been, they were pulling away. I feel like it was maybe for a lot of you a slow withdrawal. And then for some of you, there is a ghosting energy that it was just kind of like, what happened? Where did you go? But they are sending that apology through. That's the healing energy. And it is connecting with the devil in reverse because that is a healing energy. And they are sending this through strongly. We saw that Hierophant energy, the counterpart. Your spiritual connection is just not even, what do I want to say? It's not debatable. <laughs> but we did see it coming through. In particular, look at this connection here. So you are really, this is high time for hearing music and messages and things that are popping up in your daily life that are confirming a lot of what you're feeling. So that is validating if you are recognizing that. And if you're not, there is a message too. And this hangman here with the devil in reverse, you know, this is in reverse here. There's a little bit of selfish energy, indecisive energy. There are some power struggles here. So when your twin flame was getting triggered, they weren't aware of it then. I feel that they are aware of it now. They were getting triggered and there was some ego coming in, some shadow self here and holding back of feelings, feeling a little bit confused about exactly what was happening, why they were feeling so, so triggered, you know, and pulling away from you. So that's an acknowledgement of that. Also, of course, the hangman coming here around divine timing, a very strong period of uncertainty connecting right here with the wheel of fortune. I mean, look at the major arcana energy today. And, and the timing, divine timing here, it's stuck, it's out of it's out of everybody's control. You know, it's the stuck energy and it's heartbreaking. I'm, I'm feeling that really very, very strongly. The Three of Swords, the Saturn and Libra energy with the moon in reverse. And it's just really clear that a lot of the healing, a lot of the messages that you're seeking, are, you're already getting, they're all around you. They're just maybe not going to be in the 3D. The Tower in reverse, the Four of Wands, oh, that's too many, did come back. The Tower in Reverse was also one of the cards that I wasn't sure look the Fool energy. So it's very much on their mind. The Hierophant came back too. So this is really clear. Look at look what is here in between the Emperor and the High Priestess. It's kind of like between you and your Twin Flame too. It's the Tower here coming in Reverse. So there is... This is still going on. I feel like they're still in a karmic situation that they cannot leave from, and they've actually gotten really quiet. They have, they're kind of, again, it's a real strong validation for me that they're sort of checking out from whatever's going on and going into more of this dreamy world here. Look at this, the moon in reverse, the clarity. The truth of how they feel connecting with you in the four and five D is incredibly strong, sending this really strong apologetic energy. It's really asking for forgiveness here. The dreamy energy for me today is coming through in the full energy. You know, it's Aquarius and Uranus energy and it's hope for a new path. Do I feel like that's happening right now? I don't. Um, look here, there, there's a dog <laughs> with it on their mind. Look, it's a box with all these crystals coming out. I really like this, these healing crystals. And of course, the new cycle being able to begin a new cycle here. That's the fool's journey, you know, being able to not carry that into the new cycle, coming here with the five of cups in reverse. So this is really what they're wanting is to move on from the cycle that they're in. May I don't feel like that that is possible in the 3D, but the, the messages to you, oh boy, pay attention to your dreams because those are, it's coming through really strong. The 4 and 5D connections here, the telepathy, just even in people maybe that you're seeing, numbers, music. I think I'm going to do some um, song messages today. Yeah, because this is very, very much what they're sending through to you too. The devil in reverse, the five of cups in reverse, the fool card. That eventually this will be overcome in this new new cycle. The renewal, of course, connecting us directly to infinity 
will be here. It's just, it's kind of a dreamy energy now. It's also connecting, look at this, even with the Four of Wands in the upright, which is a reunion energy. It's a homecoming energy. And it's a celebratory energy. It can be in real time. Do I think this is saying you're coming together right now? And, you know, it can be a marriage card that marriage is going on. I don't. That's not what's coming through here today. This is really connected to sort of like, well, this hopeful energy here in the full card of what the two of you look at here, this energy, the high priestess and the hierophant of what you're holding on to. But we also see the high priestess here. It's a strong intuitive energy, of course, and trusting, trusting yourself, your gut instincts, your guardian angels at what can and can't be done now. And there is an energy here in particular with the, look at these major arcanas here with the tower in reverse of not being able to change in the situation that they are in, in this karmic situation. There's a delicate sort of tippy-toeing that I feel almost. And there is that, as I said, that kind of stepping away energy just to keep things calm and going off into this dreamy energy. It's really incredibly strong, really missing you. And for some of you watching this in real time, it is also around this time of year, I feel that it's amplified. Again, it's not for everybody that you're here right when I'm uploading, and that's not what it's about anyway. The messages are clearly strong here, but this soulmate energy, this reunion energy in the Four of Wands, the homecoming energy is definitely about the two of you. Look at this, your connection coming together in union, but I'm not saying it's now. Again, I'm, I can't offer that to you. This is just reaffirming your connection. Also, yeah, that future energy that is not, there's, it's not movable right now. It's really incredibly strong, the Wheel of Fortune here with the Fool in reverse, with this hope for the new path for the, the, the hero's journey, the Fool's journey to begin. But it's not right now. It is around divine timing. It's just incredibly clear. Yes, fate and destiny playing a part here. Your destinies are intertwined. There is also a very deep soulmate connection here. Lots of twists of fate. Lots of things have been going on for both of you. But it's a validating message, I feel, of your connection. And also, I'll look at the transformational energy coming here. All the butterflies of... Well, the manifesting with the four, that is a manifesting energy, and it's manifesting what? The four areas of support and stability, mentally, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So everything aligning and being together um, in every aspect, you know, not just, we're not just, because you're always in union. It's just not, of course, going to be always, of course, talking, no contact, no communication, and separation, I feel, here. Normally there is an end or in separation energy. For some of you, it could be that you see your twin flame so that maybe that's not applying to you in that way. But the separation, this is, this is, today's reading is not union going on, okay? But the energy, the validation, the validating energy of your connection is really strong. It's around timing. The spiritual marriage is incredibly strong here. Your connection, all of that is validated, but the coming together in all aspects, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual is something that is on everybody's mind. It's just, it's not now. I, I just need to be clear about that. The hermit. Yeah, this is just, this is going here. There's a strong alignment here. Everybody's here, I feel. Look, connected to the divine, of course, the owl, the guardian of the night, inner transformations, self-actualization. Here's what I want to say to you. Great place to be. Mercury and Virgo energy. You go in there for clarity and a quest for personal truth. So this is a lot about what, what you need to be doing as well. What's going on in your life. There might be some things that you are feeling stuck moving forward with. You're not disconnecting from your twin flame journey should you be doing that. It's really important actually for you to do that. So that message is coming through. And it's also a great place to be, you know. It's a calming place to go in here and get some clarity in regard to your life. And I do feel that you're both here because, you know, what's coming after the hermit is the Wheel of Fortune. And it's just... 
I'm not saying the universe can sit in the hermit energy for <laughs> many years, maybe this lifetime. It can be the case, but it doesn't mean you're actually sitting somewhere and not moving. It's just more about the journey because right now, the energy of coming out of the hermit card is it's just, you can see that it's not time. The wheel of fortune is in reverse here. It's stuck. It's out of your control. It's around timing. It's just not here. That The renewal, the new cycle, the completion of the karmic lessons that need to be learned, debts paid, all, the, all of that is still going on. So yeah, I do feel like it's an alignment. And again, it's not a bad place to be. And it doesn't mean, of course, that you're sitting here actively not moving from something. However, there is a message that there may be some things that you're feeling stuck about in your life and you need to take another look at. So that's really strong here. And it can be for some of you that part of what you feel is holding you back are, is, I want to say, your attachment to your twin flame and maybe for some of you just being so attached to it, not having detached and surrendered that it's keeping you from other things in your life. So that's coming through for some of you. It's not going to be for everybody. So I want to show you here what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. A couple of things going on here. Look, it's holding the crystals here, also coming off here with the full card. And this is around something for some of you with money or a job or something maybe even around some commitment energies for you in the Hierophant because, of course, it can be that there's this, this is your energy or both of your energy. It's really strong what's going on in the 3D in your, your Twin Flames life. But I do think that maybe it's for both of you. Here with this owl connecting to the divine, of course, a lot of wisdom gained from the owl, who, by the way, just a little side note, is a Scorpio. <laughs> and, you know, they're kind of quiet. They work behind the scenes. They kind of check themselves when they get too emotional. They're very independent. They're very focused on their, well, keeping predators away, I want to say, food and their owl person. So, this is really not a bad place to be because it really is telling me that there's still a lot that needs to get done in your 3D, in the lives that you're in. So, and that's the point really for me is about the awakening and, and living your life for your highest good and the highest good of those around you. You know, if you're hyper-focused on union, it's going to hold you back because it's just not something that's... It's just not in this lifetime for everyone. Even if Excuse me, the camera. <laughs> and obsessing or worrying and holding you back from other things is not a place that you want to be. So the Hermit, the Fool, the Hierophant, it's just really clear that there are contracts, partnerships. Maybe for some it's actually to, of course, romantic connections, but karmic connections and lessons that are still needing to be learned. Still, the cycle is not complete for both of you here. In the meantime, as things are going again, that message is coming through strong that there's, I do feel there's some opportunities that maybe you're kind of holding yourself back from coming here via other connections. So for some of you, it might be around romantic connections. I don't think that's for everybody. Some of you are in situations now, but money, other relationships, that's what I want to say. So it's not just about romantic. And what I also wanted to say is the alignment here that also comes through with the full energy and what you're both thinking here with the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Hierophant of kind of the future possibilities together here of being able to have this whole new cycle together. It's very much a dreamy energy for me. Again, it's not coming through that this is happening look justice is coming through yeah this is so strong and this is part of why look the tower in reverse justice is here the hierophant it's the hermit the fool the hangman in reverse karma there's just some fate karmic law spiritual justice there are there's just some karmic situations that have not run their course what can i say libra energy of course, Venus energy, the planet of love, the hottest planet. This is an 11 new beginnings. It's a master number. You know, a lot of times that can signify a union. But this is, we know, not now. That is, that is not moving. And that's because there's still some karmic situations here that need to be resolved. And, 
You know, it, it is around timing and everybody also has free will. You have free will. Your twin flame has free will. And I just heard a message too coming through for someone that to let go of the need for control. That's not going to be for everyone, but it's here. And this is your overall energy. So it's going to reveal what's under there. And then I want to bring in some Oracle for you. But not being able to control, to recognize that, that you can't control what's going on in your twin flame's life. Your connection is real here. They're sending a lot of validating messages for you. Um, again, there's a stepping away from, I feel like a pretty intense karmic situation, which also might be for you again here. And it can be even around something legal. You know, this is can be around some legal issues and um, here around money and somebody, the tower in reverse, somebody, your twin flame, <laughs> but it can also be you um, aligning. There is some energy of, yeah, there's an energy of just the karmic situation, whatever it is. And there might be, it can be like embodying everything, work, location, family, members, relationships, whatever, is not complete. And, but there can be that there's some, lack of being able to leave it due to money and some legal situations that are going on and that may, maybe that's all that they're wanting to send that through to you too or it's also for you and in fact that is i think for some of you that they're sending that through so i just heard a message too that for for those of you that are connected to other people through your twin flame or maybe even online that what you're hearing or seeing isn't true that it's they're just kind of putting up a front. So I don't know. Maybe that comes through in your channel love messages, but that is coming through. So there is, there are some, there's some karmic, there, two came off there, karmic situations that, yeah, that are also some legal issues and keeping things from moving. This fear of change in the tower in reverse. You know, they're not able to be totally honest and get to all the roots, I want to say, of the issues because something's going on there. They're just kind of stepping away, keeping the peace. It's like somebody trying to keep the peace. And again, that might be you too. You're you're always connected, but your alignment of where you both are is really strong, really missing each other, really trying to work things out in your life, uh, really dreaming about each other quite a bit right now. And I mean that in the sense of just thinking about each other a lot, but also paying attention to those dreams for you. The Queen of Pentacles wanting to show in reverse. Capricorn and Saturn energy connecting directly with the devil energy. Interesting. So yeah, this is about money. This is about money for some. There's a card under here we're going to look at in a minute. So it's a real strong validation with the tower in reverse, justice and the queen of pentacles in reverse. That because this is what they're thinking about here. This emperor is also whatever. It, this is not about gender. I want to be clear. We all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies within. If you're resonating as a divine masculine or a divine feminine, then of course, you know, however you're resonating. But just remember, if it's not aligning in that way for you, it's not about that. The emperor energy here might be, and it can be vice versa, but working a lot and really needing to even pay some legal stuff, but also working for a lot of other people. And that's coming through in the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And it's also coming through with justice that this is somebody who is kind of holding on tight too and is not allowing this change in this connection. And it is out of your hands. That message has come through, twin flame, <laughs> as much as you don't want to hear that, perhaps that you can't control that. It is out of your control. So what your twin flame needs to work out, the karmic connections and the, the life that they're in, they need to work that out. You need to work out your own and you need to let go of some of that control and it will free up a lot of clarity, a lot of mental space for you, a lot of emotional space to work with again in your life and the relationships that you're in and the ones that you are looking to nurture or develop, whether it's work, money, family, friendships, love, whatever the case is, there is a strong message here for you from your twin flame, from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to let go of that control because it, you, this is what need, this is how things need to go down. But that message coming through again, that I do feel somebody, look, the magician, oh, I really like that for you is right below the justice too, that they are this karmic situation that they're in. And again, it might be in alignment for you as well. 
is kind of smothering. Like they're not, they're not letting things move for your twin flame. And that's just how it is right now. And it is involving for some money and yeah, a lot of other people possibly even yeah, contracts, like literal contracts. Look at the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, Justice here, the Tower in Reverse. Like, you know, that separation, legal separation energy here. But your Twin Flame is kind of stepping away from that and going, sending a lot to you today. I really like that. Handling themselves really well. That could also be you. So I really like this. This is not an argumentative. I don't feel like major toxic stuff going on. It's just kind of how it is. And yeah, this is going to have to stay here, this Queen of Pentacles. And the last card coming through, I really, really like this. It's the Magician. And it is, in fact, another message that, yeah, eventually this will be worked out. You know, car <laughs> again, you know, fate, karmic law, spiritual justice, Hierophant, High Priestess here. I mean, it is just really clear. It's just not right now. It, there is... The timing, we don't need to go over it all again, and we already know all the reasons for that, but it's a validation, you know, as above, so below, turning visions into reality. Lots of visions here of coming together and having this new start together here. It's really, really strong. It's not right now. You know, this is just one of those readings today, but I really like that it's ending the tarot here on the magician who was right below justice, you know, fate. And destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Wheel of Fortune stuck out of your control, timing. What's going on in your twin flame's life? You know, what's going on in your life and that they can't control? That will give you so much peace of mind should you be in, in the camp of people, I want to say, that are feeling a little bit stuck in regard to that and free up a lot of mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual space for you to do what you need to do and to feel at peace knowing how your twin flame feels and knowing that what has already gone on, the wake up energy for you in your life is a positive. There's still a whole lot more to come, but freeing things up so you can move forward with, with the relationships to friends, family, love, money, work, whatever that is that you're needing to nurture that you're, that you're being held back from. I think you know what that is, and it, and it is going to be different for everybody. I like this Gemini Virgo energy, Mercury. There is that renewal that's also connected to Libra, by the way, the infinity. And that's also, of course, your energy, Twin Flames, and a particular kind of soul connection, love, and, of course, balance. Balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies. It's right here. The renewal, getting out of, because this is also an eight, you know, of course, that's connected to infinity, and that's karma. So that's working out this literal karmic situation, I feel like a lot more than just one on everybody's end, and getting into this renewal here when it's time. And in the meantime, doing what you need to do with your bad self, <laughs> beautiful earth angel, and turning these vision, visions into reality, both in your life right now, alchemizing everything that's going on. I gotta tell you, that's what the magician does right now, coming in here, alchemizing all this stuff that's going on and getting you through your cycles, because there are lots of cycles that we're coming into in our lives, aren't there? And and completion energy and being able to move forward with whatever's coming your way. Alchemizing the past, alchemizing now, the shadow work, the things that you need to work on. I want to bring in one uh, energy here, and then we're going to bring in some oracle and some song messages and channeled love messages, messages from your twin flame. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card. I hope. There it is. I really love this so much. Wow, look what just came into with it. We're going to keep it. We're not going to look at all of them. We're just going to keep them. These are yours. Self-love, release, desire to control. Twin flames. I'm very goosebumpy. Look, look at this holding on to this rose here. Oh gosh, I want to cry. <laughs> oh, take care of yourself. Yeah, a lot of you are. So you're saying, yeah, this is the energy I'm in. Don't worry. Good. For those of you that aren't, when the message has been really strong here, when you release that energy of desire to control, because you can't, it's out of your control. What's going on with them? Timing. 
there, it's going to free up so much space for you and also the self-love here of taking care of yourself is coming through really strong. Self-respect, the courage to do what you need to do, it's bringing in definitely strength card energy. And of course, that's the renewal, that's the cycle and the strength to get through that. And the eighth star with the star card, that hopeful energy for renewal and clarity, which I know you're seeking here in this divine connection, was a gift to the strength card, sending that down for hope. So it's a real strong energy that this is coming through in your reading today hoping that it leaves you feeling hopeful and renewed and able to tackle what you need to and know that you're right where you need to be, that you're twin flame and you are connected. And this is just where things are right now. It doesn't take away from that. But the need to release the control is extremely important. So I'm going to put this here with the fool, the hermit. It's like it's the lesson here that you're needing to hear for a lot of you to learn this message coming through. It might not be just a light bulb you know, and say, yeah, okay, I got it. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> you know, you got to work on it, but it is here. And that, of course, also applies to the rest of your life and whatever else might be going on and nurturing and taking care of yourself here. I love this so much for you. We're bringing in some Oracle and this was just setting on the side. I don't know why. So it's yours. It's the moon energy. And of course, we have the moon in reverse here. So I really, really like this. Of course, it's Pisces energy. It is Gemini and Cancer also coming through. It's major arcana energy. And it's around a lot of emotional energy, of course, and all the things that you can't see and all the things here look with the Hierophant that you're afraid to change here in, in the tower in reverse. This is also for you and your twin flame and connecting with the high priestess of knowing that you've got it, that you can do it. And dealing with all these things that are unknown, you know, that are underneath the surface, really, that moon energy, problems, you know, stuff that's going on in your life and trusting your intuition and your gut instinct. These are your guardian angels. And I really love this reading for you. Simplicity is just wanting to show at the bottom of the deck. So it's easier than you think. Look, I just had a little weird throat jump there. This messenger literally leading you right here to this rose of releasing this desire to control. This is like, looks like the sun energy to me, that source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, what is that for you? And that's connecting with the crown chakra, of course, higher power, spiritual messages, working things out for you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically on this journey, being able to kind of put it in front of you and deal with it and, and, then so that you can tackle the things that you need to tackle in your life and have more peace. This feels like a reading of sending some peace down for you. And I'm keeping this. Whoa. And so this is how it's going. It's wanting to bring in as I kept it. And everything's shuffled already, by the way. So don't worry. But healing. Yeah, this is just, what can I say here? It's constantly going on, but there's still a lot of healing that needs to go on. Look, self-love, healing simplicity, the desire to release control, the moon and all the things that have been suppressed there, the subconscious, of course, and the conscious, which is right here in this energy, the sun shines on that moon and highlights everything, that moon energy of being able to release what needs to be released, look at everything clear, illuminate it, see what's there that you're not dealing with, particular emotions, things that you might not have been aware that are there that you need to get a closer look at. And that's also that moon energy in reverse. So it's not just about your twin flame communicating, it's also your guides, ancestors, your spirit guides, angels and ancestors really trying to communicate with you kind of, I want to say, on every level here energetically and sending you messages uh, in your dreams. Okay, so... <laughs> this is just kind of how it's going and it's showing the solitude i'm not reading oracle in reverse by the way it's showing the solitude card that's the hermit energy and i've been feeling this really 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 strong that it for both of you and it's just really not a bad place to be and again it can be going on for longer than you want it to be going on it doesn't mean that you're not doing anything that if you think of it in that sense that you're just here in the hermit not moving <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's just kind of a great place to be for healing and to be getting clarity on the, the journey for you, but your life and what's going on in your life. So I really love this. The Awaken card is also coming through. It's connecting us right to Judgment, to Archangel Gabriel, 
the Pluto energy, the clarity, decisions that you need to make, some wake up energy here, your life's purpose. So this is going on for both of you. It's a strong, strong, strong alignment. Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions. And this is an energy of just shaking out that rug and getting some clarity, airing everything out in truth. And it is coming through strongly here too. It's sort of like Archangel Gabriel really bringing you together here. And this forgiveness energy that your twin flame is sending is really strong, but it's also for you. So if you're holding on to something here, forgiving yourself, self-love, healing, simplicity, that seems so, so much easier the way I say it than it probably is. I know that. <laughs> of course, I'm human. So I understand that, but I'm hearing a message that there is, it's, I guess, bringing the awareness for you. So there's a lot of messages here for you from your twin flame today. A lot of messages also from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And this is, look, it's interesting. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, but I do have to say, this is kind of like the tower in reverse again, you know, of not being honest, and not getting to the root of some issues. Look rooted here, going really deep into everything, generational, ancestral trauma and connections and things that need to be worked out. And also, again, just on this level of feeling like that's there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, there's here in your person's energy, and I do feel like there's an alignment here of just not being able to change some things in the 3D to bring you together is what I want to say, but there's actually a whole lot that still needs to get worked out for the renewal. Okay, so I want to just see what else wants to come through. And then we're going to bring in messages, song messages, and then channeled love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What do our twin flames need to see here today? Aho. The way they're plopping down. <laughs> Cosmic order. This couldn't be any truer for you today. Life, death, rebirth, the beginning, the middle, the end, timing. All things as it should be on the right track. Things coming together. The stars, you know, in the order. <laughs> I just heard it sounds so silly in the order which it was received. It's like when you're waiting on a phone call. But really, it's like, it is like that in many ways. So there we go. And the last cards coming in are gift. Now look, it's a hand coming up from the divine messages written on the wrist. Three butterflies here. Of course, transformational energy really 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 strong here everybody's doing it's going on even when you don't know it you know that owl energy that's super strong here today of course there are three the divine divine timing communication and growth coming out of the divine quite literally messages for you today gifts this is both from your twin flame it's also from your spirit guides angels and ancestors today for those of you that are in or have been dealing with a dark night of the soul, this is a strong reading for you as well to um, start connecting with the healing and the self-love and, yeah, being able to move past that and start doing the things that you need to do to recognize it. It's okay. You're, you're where you are. But that butterfly, you know, of course, it's also about the timing when things are going on for you because before it's a butterfly, it's, it's the caterpillar and then it's going in the cocoon and it is in the dark you know and it is around timing here so even when you think things aren't transforming and moving they are but there are particular messages coming through for you to recognize and let go of some control and allow some room in your life and your heart mentally emotionally physically too and spiritually to change some things that you've been really wanting to change and a lot of release of things that you've been holding on to emotionally that might be holding you back and some of that is here you know just maybe obsessing for some of you ace of wands it's connecting with that i really like it look this is the moon energy again coming in the change look the messenger flying off it's sort of apropos for your reading today like i've delivered the messages they've come through look as i said that i just looked down and saw a messenger look also manifestation, which is connecting, of course, strongly with the magician energy here today, manifesting what it is that you're wanting. And I know you're doing that on your twin flame's journey, but, you know, shifting that energy toward yourself, okay? Because 
what you're doing for yourself is ultimately going to be what you're doing for the twin flame journey for you and your twin flame. And that goes for both of you. Okay, so I really like that a lot. And what, also what's going on is she's sitting here in a lotus flower healing right next to the awaken energy, which of course is bringing in that Archangel Gabriel energy. For some of you, I just heard it might even just be peace around connections that you're in. Change, look, there's an actual dwelling. Things that are being revealed in this moon energy, again, some problems that you may not have wanted to deal with or see are, are sort of receiving this message here now, and you're going to be receiving these messages in a lot of ways. Look, the messenger. This is really about your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. But again, it's also messages from your twin flame here today. And as much as I want to say it's real clear that they're coming in the 3D, I can't offer that, but it definitely can be, and it could be because that's always the case. You know, it's just reaching out and kind of going back in again. But this messenger is really all about the change here that's going on even when you don't see it, all the things that are unseen, both the problems and the things that are good things that are changing that, well, not that problems are bad. I mean, they can be, but, you know, the lessons. And, of course, for some, the karmic, karmic lessons, things that we need to get through. This is representing for me to the subconscious and the, the conscious, the moon and the sun energy, you know. Look, the wake up and the change energy. So something in your life, too, again, both are releasing the control of this connection, release desire to control right here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is saying it's out of your control. What's going on with your twin flame and the timing? Awakening to that, it's really strong. The message here, I feel like, has been delivered. It's incredibly strong. The conscious shining on the subconscious, the moon, and really highlighting everything here and saying, okay, I'm delivering this message of everything that you can see and what you can't see and giving you this message to look a little bit deeper. Awaken here. Make some decisions. Get this clarity that you need here today for your connection, but also in your life. Okay, Twin Flames. So <laughs> I have this really big bowl and... I'm going to move around. The messages, and I'm picking three for you today. We'll also go through a deck, channeled song messages. So we're gonna wait on these, but they've already been chosen, three. And those are also song messages, channeled song messages, messages from your person through song. It can be songs come down that you resonate with. It can be songs come down that you've never heard of, maybe that you don't even like. It can be that you think it's not for you and maybe it isn't. Maybe you're sending it. And it can also be that the message that is coming through is something I won't even be able to decipher. So some something here that well, really, with the entire reading, that's resonating for you that I just may not even know. For example, somebody has a snake tattoo, a rose tattoo. Take what's for you, of course. And if you think it's not for you, it's not for you. And if you're sending it, you're sending it. Messages through song. Again, there's always a sentiment in a song. And I'm sorry. So let's see what's going on. What do you want to say to your twin flame through channeled song? I wish I had a river so long. I would teach my feet to fly. How oh, I wish I had a river I could skate on. I made my baby cry, River Joni Mitchell. So that's a lot of regret that your twin flame is sending. They're sorry that they've made you cry and that's been coming through how sorry they are. And asking you to listen to music. That's some of the strong messages that came through today. So this is really for you. If you haven't heard River by Joni Mitchell, the original song, I definitely recommend you go and listen to it because this is a special message for you today. It's very goosebumpy. It's making me a little bit emotional. Time has come again, and love is in the wind, like some music in a dream. So goosebumpy. Definitely going on for you, Twin Flames. You made them all come true when you came inside my life. Now I'm lost. 
inside of you lost in the music and lost in your eyes, I could spend all of my time hearing songs you sing. So for some of you that is directly connected to singing, that's not going to be for everybody. That there's actually singing going on. But this message, Hi. I just looked up at the camera and realized that it was off. I don't know if it got this, so I'm going to read it again just in case, all right? When there's no getting over that rainbow, when my smallest of dreams won't come true, I can take all the madness the world has to give, but I won't last a day without you. I won't last a day without you, Carpenter's Paul Williams. Well, I've been haunted in my sleep, you've been starring in my dreams. So that's a strong validation, the moon in reverse energy here of, yeah, they are dreaming of you and they're sending those messages to you as well. Lord, I miss you. Miss you, the Rolling Stones. That's it. Walk on through the wind. Walk on through the rain. Though your dreams may be tossed and blown, walk on. Walk on with hope in your heart. And you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. Nina Simone, written by Richard Rogers. Words of love you. Whisper soft and true, darling. I love you. Words of love, the Beatles. I really like this. It's here again. Is this here again or is it is it new? No, it's it's the same one. Okay, I thought, why is River here again? That happens sometimes. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. The best, Tina Turner. And rest in peace to Tina Turner. Your last message, channeled song message through this deck... The long and winding road that leads me to your door will never disappear. I've seen that road before. It always leads me to you. It always leads me here, excuse me. Lead me to your door, the Beatles. The long and winding road written by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Right here with Awaken. So let's see what your three-channeled song messages are, then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. You are the hider. I am the seeker, my twin. I'm in flames. I'm rolling about. Flame twin, Nora Jones. Well, that could not be any clearer. No one will win this time. I just want you back. I'm running to your side, flying my white flag, my white flag, surrender, Natalie Taylor. The day we met, froze and I held my breath, right from the start. I knew that I'd found a home for my heart a thousand years. Christina Perry. I have really, really strong goosebumps going on, going up my arms, I want to say. Channeled love messages, messages from your higher self, from your twin flame, and then we will close your reading today. It's been a long one. It's been my honor as always. And I felt really driven, really um, pulled to do your reading today. I know I'm only doing around one twin flame reading a week, but I wanted to offer you... A midweek today, it just felt right. So if you're here, I hope you received what you needed to. Obviously, you're here. <laughs> Please forgive me. Yeah, that came through real strong with the Five of Cups in reverse. Here also with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Things not moving, you know, and connected to a situation they're in. But it goes beyond that. I mean, that's not even... I saw someone who looked like you. So I kind of feel like for some of you, this is also going on with you. But your twin flame is sending that down. You're beautiful inside and out. If you are ever feeling that you're sending the message, then you're sending the message. And a lot of times, 
Well, telepathy is real in particular with your twin flame. A lot of times it comes through here in readings, so that might be happening too. We have a deep soul connection. Putting this with the high priestess here. I'm hurting right now. You both are. Look, three of swords. Hierophant, high priestess. Hermit energy. The hangman in reverse. The emperor. You're reading. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. These are connected. Look at this. I'm sorry I ghosted you. Five of Cups in reverse. I wished on a star tonight. I really like this a lot. Awaken. Manifestation. Oh, that's where that's going. And the magician, of course. What am I doing? Look at that. I just realized they connected here. There's the star, too. Boy, that's this goosebumpy twin flames look. There it is. Manifesting, which is what they're doing in this magician energy, quite literally. This just fell right out, so we need to look at it. Manifesting energy, soulmate energy here too. That is literally what they're doing. It's also connecting with the awakened energy and the four of wands. Both the spiritual marriage and, and a lot of the dreams that I feel. That's strong. So these I want to look at, but this fell out. Is so Where did it go? I'm hurting right now. I saw someone who looked like you. Maybe we had already seen it. Okay. I think we might have already seen it. So these we're going to look at these now. I spy on you. <laughs> Page of Swords energy. Keeping an eye, however that is, whether it's social media, asking other people. I know we met for a reason. Let's bring it in that Wheel of Fortune card. I know the timing isn't right now. Fate and Destiny, Serendipity. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Thinking of you brings me peace. This has been really strong today. I'll tell you. You are my other half. Yeah, soulmate energy is strong and twin flame energy. So a validation. I want to put this here in between the Hierophant and the, hi the High Priestess, but it's kind of like everything's everywhere right now. We have two more to go. I love you to infinity. Let's bring in the infinity song as well. I forget the name or the name of the artist. Music connection, super, super strong here. The energy right now. I feel your energy as I say that, yeah. <laughs> so they're really connecting with you through music as well. And sending that on to you and hoping that you're feeling it as well. Beautiful Twin Flame. It was my honor to channel for you today. What a beautiful reading. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy to have channeled for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. I always feel like I need to straighten everything. <laughs> if you haven't, and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Of course, turning on those notifications so you know when your Twin Flame readings are coming. And other readings you might be interested in, they're not Twin Flame specific, but your energy does come through in the Zodiac readings as well as the All Signs Tarot readings, the Love Tarot readings for the collective. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping the best f outcome for you on your journey and looking forward to seeing you at another Twin Flame reading, another love reading, another tarot reading. Until then, take good care. <laughs>